Where's Isla? All right. All right. Well, we need to start. Let's go ahead and raise your mug. Your one, two, three, four, five, six, Isla, seven, I said we're going to do a live stream about exercise. I didn't say we're going to exercise. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on around. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, sorry. I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Raise your cup, your mug your chalice, your oversized water bottle, mm -hmm. and fill it with your favorite liquid. I like coffee. Um, I and like join us juice. in the simultaneous sip. Here we go. That makes a funny sound. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, please. <laughs> OK, one, two. <laughs> what do you do? Try not to spew orange juice all <laughs> over your sister's setup here. Okay. That would be so nice. we're getting tough and buff this year. Oh yeah. And one of our <laughs> students, she's she's truly a star. Mm -hmm. Um Chloe, no last name. Mm -hmm. Um she started a project. Uh originally she wanted to learn about statistics, statistics. applied statistics and we were talking about a whole lot of different ideas and part of this was a bit it's a it takes an added step when you're at week school school right mm -hmm. because you're not just gonna okay i'm gonna learn about statistics and then like what you're just gonna like memorize the definitions of mean median mode normal distribution like that sounds like fun not um and so it was like how are you gonna apply this well you need some data if you want to do statistics you need some data so we started gathering data in a Google sheet and all of us are doing planks every day, except I forgot yesterday. <laughs> Same ah. you. No, it's a, learning how to deal with missing data is part of data analytics. So yeah. um, actually one of our hypothesis tests in this article that she's going to be writing is are people that um, didn't miss a day we're gonna do this for 31 days. Mm. Are they, um, did they generally hold planks longer than other people? Or did they show higher rates of improvement over time? Or so, maybe the people who have off days actually perform better because they get to rest their muscles. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, we don't know. Yeah. It's science. So, science. Science. <laughs> science. Very good. Let's do the wave. You do it with science, go. Science. 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 Go ahead. Science. 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 Okay. okay. This is very so there's novel. all kinds of, well, it, it's, so this project is super cool because it ties in so much. So it's, yeah. it's virtual. It's exercise. It's social. It's exercise. It's statistics. You're also learning to use tools like Google, Google Sheets. Sheets. Mm -hmm. um, you're the science. Science component mm -hmm. is also psychology of like will people be like because you also have to weigh in um like whether or not people might be lying in a survey you know if you do like how happy are you like most people if they're super sad they might not be like as willing to say that than somebody who's happy they'd be like oh yeah i'm happy versus maybe somebody who's sad doesn't really want to say that they're sad right so you also have to keep in mind like the like whether or not your data is really objective in the first place there's also a difference in quality so you think about quality of data right so how is somebody because we're we're not watching we have some other students participating we're not watching what they're doing actually we did watch some students yesterday during a club we invited some students to join and yeah. at least for one day and there were so so here's some things that you might get quality of planks quality of planks mm -hmm. right so like isla was doing these like perfect it was a perfect plank mm -hmm. she looked like this she got her little toesies touching the ground over here she's got her elbows touching the ground over here and she's not moving a muscle and then the, the, the you can imagine this is the plank of the other the other student during the zoom call and they kept doing this over and over again with their with her butt coming up in there. Okay. Won't Not say naming who. names. Won't say who. But it was like, okay, it's way easier to hold a plank like this mm -hmm. 
because you don't have the middle of your body unsupported. Like triangles are naturally a better support. That's why roofs of houses are shaped like this, generally not like this. It's yeah. because it puts less pressure on, on the core. middle of the house on the core. Yeah. So when you do a plank like this, it's, um, way easier. it's way easier. So, but I didn't want to say anything because I was like, well, I'm not like, is that part of the experiment? Right. You know, mm -hmm. anyway, we don't want to talk about this the whole time because we're doing lots of things to exercise. Mm -hmm. But this and is our one exercise component. club promo that provides zero details on the actual exercise club. Oh, yeah. In the description. But it's super cute. But it's cool. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. You should watch it after yeah, this live stream. You should too. So we're doing a lot of things. Um, it's meant to kind of pump you up. Yeah. It's kind of a pump. It's for it's, motivation. It's a motivational video. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's also, I think, said. a lot of, and it's also <laughs> strategies of, like, how do you it's also make strategy. sure. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 not that video. Sorry. But actually, how do you maintain a routine that's consistent where you're yeah, working? Yeah, you just got to maintain the routine. Sorry. No, <laughs> so because. You're doing great. Um, because. Even like most adults struggle with like, oh, how do I like stay active and make sure that I'm having a good routine when I'm in incorporating exercise and um and so <laughs> keep talking, Sume. It's just really hard for me to incorporate. I do all these things. I'm the adult. You just well, mentioned Well, I think it's good for incorporating for young people in their education, like how do you actually maintain motivation, routines um and then and also like how do you keep yourself accountable and so there's multiple different things to like consider that are good to learn young when it's easier to like and you don't have to go against like maybe bad habits that you might have built mm. or um and it's kind of like with less pressing like time commitments that you might have to juggle in order to work exercise it's routine. tough it's really tough mm -hmm. it's really tough yeah, I used to have an exercise ball at work. No, long time ago. Balls? Yeah, I had a yoga ball. Mm -hmm. I did that for I did that for like, oh man, like half the people at the office at Fannie Mae is one of the first jobs that I had. It's a long time ago. It was right after the financial crisis. But then somebody read a news article about somebody who fell backward on their yoga ball and like hit their head and like had to go to hospital. And then there's like this whole article about safety. And after that, everybody got rid of their yoga balls. And it's like, oh, back to just sitting on my bum bum for hours a day. Yeah, it's tough for adults. But when you can incorporate spending time with your kids mm -hmm. into exercise, that's kind of what I've been doing. Also and kind it's of so like great. Double tasking. Double task. Being able to exercise. Right? Yep, I will double task. I did one. I was doing rows, right? And you think that that's not like something you could do with your kids, but then I just laid Isla across my lap while I'm doing the rows, you know? Yeah. And that, that worked, right? So getting creative. So we're like, we're playing basketball together. Uh, I made like a little in like how to do a reverse layup um, video. It took me five minutes, you know, Isla was helping film a little bit. Um, and then she interviewed a football player that was over there hanging out doing that too. We're, we're just spending time together while being active. It was really fun. Um, what are some other things we've been doing? Uh, well, your Taekwondo, so I'm not really involved in your Taekwondo. I do film you guys doing slow-mo high kicks and tornado kicks and stuff. That's fun. Um, but uh, that, that's something you guys have been doing for a long time. I think that's one reason why you guys are so fit because you guys can do those planks. Oh my goodness. You guys are surpassing like two minute planks. Mm -hmm. This morning well, I yeah, did two I, minutes twenty seconds. That's so and uh, that's yeah, Taekwondo. In order to <laughs> test for, uh, well, it, it goes up while you progress through the bank uh, belt ranks, but then they have like the minimum required time that you need to hold the plank. For black belt, it's one minute, which <laughs> is much less than what we're actually doing. But the I thing used is, to think one minute was hard until I started competing with Sume for planks. <laughs> The thing is, with one minute, that's also after you've literally gone through the entire curriculum and you're absolutely worn out. Oh, and yeah. so that's like one minute after your core is already really tired. And so that's not really. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's I think it's really good to have something where you're actually accountable to other people with your exercise or else you're just not going to do it. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll go to the gym or. 
when I'm free or whatever, then then it's very easy to just like cheat yourself out of that and um and like and just skip it and there's no one there to hold you accountable, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. But if you're like, oh, I'm paying for this program or I'm going to this class and I'm like wasting my money if I don't actually go. I don't think yeah, uh, I was with you until you said pay money. You can just you don't have to do that. No, you can no, just no, join saying, our exercise that's, club. No, that's just one it's example. Free. That's what I'm talking about. That was an example from Taekwondo. Oh, we right. are paying for Taekwondo. That's true. And but for basketball, if you have people meeting you there, then that that doesn't cost any money. Obviously. We can help but, you with this. That's why we started this exercise club. Mm -hmm. It's so key. All right. All you have to do is hop in this room and tell us like, w like when you're exercising, what you're doing, and we'll be ridiculously supportive. Mm. It's a private room. The only people that are going to be in there are people that like we have had some contact with that we know, like that we know at least like maybe they've been involved at Weekly School, maybe they're met them at like homeschool meetups, like, or if we've never met you, then like you know introduce yourself. Like we prefer to have real substantive relationships with folks through the app this is not an app of like everything's private all these rooms are private so there's no like going viral aspect yeah. of this it's meant to build real relationships around deep interests and exercise has been emerging ever since our house fire as like a cornerstone of our way of approaching education because it's a really important part of life yeah let me tell you a little story about physical education when I was a young warthog. Oh, you're not going to do the repeat? When I, when daddy was a young warthog. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Next time. Um, I was in school and we had something called PE, which I found out years later was short for physical education. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we would all do the exact same thing. And kind of like every other aspect of public school. And... You know, there were things that we like. We were learning how to do square dancing at one point. I don't oh, like I square dancing. I remember that. How did that you square awful. dance? I wore gloves. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> there were a lot of things that we did that just seemed like really boring. You and wore snow You didn't have any mixing. say. You didn't have any <laughs> didn't say have what any you're doing. Gloves. There's so many ways. All you have to do is move. It's like yeah. you can imagine, like uh, you have you walk up to a young person, and you're like, okay, I have this really challenging problem for you. You have to come up with some way to move your body like constantly for 30 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Come up with anything you want. It's an, it, this is an awesome opportunity for uh, coming up with creative projects, which is a big part of what we do at Weevil School, right? So you can come up with pretty much anything. And we've come up with all kinds of silly ways of exercising over the years, right? So like we've got our like our foam sword fighting in the backyard. Mm -hmm. One time Isla took a, a, a taekwondo belt and she tied a pillow around one end of it. So she turned it basically into this swinging mace. <laughs> and I'm chasing the girls around the backyard like, Wah! and they've got their swords and their shields that are defending each other and smacking daddy in the butt. You know, <laughs> like that was really, really fun. But it was also very active. It was very active. And we were like, uh, we got back when we were at our house, we still have the trampoline. The trampoline didn't get burned, but like yeah. in the back, like Sumi and oh, I trying to figure out how trampoline. high we can launch Isla up in the air, mm -hmm. you know? And, and there's um, also, if you're actually having fun doing it, then you'll like do it for two hours and like not even realize that you're exercising. Or if you're like, in the gym and you're like, I'm gonna exercise. Then you're like, you'll do like 30 minutes and be exhausted and you're like uh, miserable because it's not really fun and you're like seeing exercise. We've Whereas seen a lot of- basketball is really fun. It is fun. Well, we go to the gym often, but almost Maybe. every time we go there, the folks that are there, they seem like they're not very happy. They seem overly serious. Yeah. They only have like two different faces. There's this face, and then there's this face. <gasps> Those are the only two faces. And then we show up and we're doing like lots of, you know, we're we're experimenting with some of the stuff. Sometimes we're not like, sometimes the girls have to experiment because they're too small to use some of these things without experimenting. Yeah. Like the pull-up bar, like if they didn't, like 
their arms totally extended. They haven't even like pushed the exercise equipment yet. So they have to get up on their knees to do some things, but you know, we're having some fun and, and it's way more fun as a group, but we want to try to extend this out and help other people come up with creative, fun ways to exercise, especially with parents, with their kids. Like that's, this is great. I don't see any reason why this shouldn't happen more mm -hmm. because you're like, what is a common complaint? Just like what Sumay was saying, common complaint amongst a lot of parents is, well, I don't have time. I have work and then I can spend time with the kids and then I got to exercise right there. Okay. Well, exercise with your kids. Right. And then the, the challenge there then is, you okay. Can work with your kids. Well, sometimes we'll do ball. that. Sometimes we'll do that too, but like one, one step at a time. Um, and, uh, so, so anyway, join the room, share your thoughts, we'll share, uh, share thoughts with you and, and you can come up with something and then also holding accountable. So that's another thing we do at Weeple school. We'll have like these focus friends groups or accountability buddies or what have you, where you set a goal and then we're there to help be like, Hey, how'd it go this week? You know, some kind of touch point for you. And then we're building some tools in this to, to automate it too. But for now, it'll just be like us and others in this group. So what are some other fun things that you guys have done that have helped you want to be more physically active? Isla's dog sitting business. You're always going oh, on these yeah. walks. Yeah. That's cool. So Isla's getting paid to exercise. You want to talk more about that? That's cute. Oh, yeah. So on Mondays, I walk Adi. Um Adi is a very cute, chubby dog that pulls a lot on the leash. So I'm getting a full body workout whenever I walk. Her. Sounds like the dog needs <laughs> exercise too. Yeah, 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 but she pulls really hard. Like after my hands are kind of sore. Okay. But I have to like do this and then I walk like this, like this. Wow. And <laughs> um, you could get a sleigh and then all the dogs you're sitting, you could just like have them. <laughs> Just go around. Of course, we don't have any snow yet. Yeah, yeah, and I can't in Alaska, control so. where they're going to walk to. That's true. So yeah, um, but I walk her every Monday at eleven o'clock, I think, um, and every Wednesday, and also on Monday. I walk Luna at 4.30. She's a little bit easier. She doesn't um, pull as hard. She's and then, so cute with that face. Yeah, she has such chubby cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out too. Mom and I will go on walks with, with Isla too. And I don't always like in the moment. She's like, hey, dad, want to walk with me? I'm walking the dog. And I'm just sort of like. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, with all that enthusiasm. Yep. Right? So and much on Wednesday, I also walk Luna with a big chubby. Oh, this is so cute. cute. And yeah, but usually when but when I'm by the time I'm back, I'm glad I went. When we when we yeah. were sitting when you were sitting Charlie and Bella, that was a lot of running around the apartment. Yeah, because that's true. Um Charlie can be off the leash in the apartment, so we would just run over to the wolf deck. Mm -hmm. If anybody's interested in dog sitting as a business, that would be another reason to reach out, actually, because I think that that's a great way for kids to, one, learn more about pets, but two, well, because you're not committing to very much, mm. right? So, yeah. like, you can walk one dog and then decide, actually, you know what? don't want to do that anymore. Totally fine. You know how many parents have bought pets for their kids and had their kids take their dog on one walk and be like, you know what? Don't want to do that anymore. And the parents are just sort of like, what? Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, getting a little bit of money to go out and exercise that really breaks up the day. Mm -hmm. Right. Also, um, um, every morning like this, Every morning, me and mommy wake up. I wake up at seven. Mommy wakes up at seven fifteen, and we go on a walk to the park while it's still kind of dark out. Well, that's cool. Yeah, um, but sometimes I wouldn't know because I wake up at eight. Sometimes <laughs> eight. <laughs> sometimes. I wake up technically at eight, but it takes me thirty minutes to get. Up. <laughs> okay. I'm awake now. I look much better. All right. <laughs> Um, Discipline. But sometimes, like, um, I have to dress up really warm because my hair 
is wet in the morning and sometimes it's really cold out. So you can also, um, I used to go to the gym every morning and go on a walk <laughs> on the treadmill, but I found that <sighs> pretty boring. Walking on trails is boring? No, treadmill. Oh yeah, that's yeah. really boring. Yeah. But uh, when we go to the park, I will hide behind bushes and try and scare mommy as she walks. That's there. fun. Yeah, that's really fun. Because when you scare fun. mommy, she's just sort of like, <laughs> <laughs> she's got the best, yeah. I'm scared. She, it's really great. The only reason why I'm not the one being scared is because she doesn't want to hide behind bushes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, back on topic. I think it was That's also, exercise because yeah, you're playing. I think it was also interesting how um, Isla and I, we did nine classes of Taekwondo a week. And it, before. Was, yeah, before the fire. Only and, nine. <laughs> and... Um, then we started playing basketball and it was like very different muscles that were sore. We like ran on the treadmill for an hour and you're like working different muscles in your body. When we were like doing this one for your triceps and then those are really sore, but you don't really do that in Taekwondo. So it's like having a variety of exercises is also important too. Yeah. So you're not like only working a certain set of muscles and those are like overly large and then there are other ones. Yeah, I think that there's this... I think the way a lot of adults exercise, I, I find a, a bit strange. What well, they'll do the same things all over and over again. Yeah. Like here's my routine. It's like, why do you have a routine? Like, run. You don't run need to have a routine. And then I run. Like you can do <laughs> lots of different things. I like basketball in part because basketball is a full body exercise. You need everything. Yeah. So with baseball, most of the time that you're playing baseball, you're standing. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah. You're just like waiting. The pitcher throws the ball, ball, and then 20 minutes or 20 seconds later, strike. And then, then the batter finally hits the ball, and, and the batter running. is running. Well, and the first baseman the is just sitting there going, <laughs> waiting for the ball, yeah. right? And the catcher is <laughs> just sitting there going, right? <laughs> and then, you know, the only person that's running is probably like an outfielder. And then they're like, ah. <laughs> they grab it, they throw it, and everybody else is just going, right? So, yeah. like, almost you're just standing most of the time, yeah. right? And then there's football. And football is teaching you the extremely valuable skill of squatting With your butt in the air. <laughs> until somebody says hike or yeah. some magic word. They and then for about five seconds, you hit people. <laughs> right. This is really important. Yeah. Right? Really <laughs> valuable. All the Essential. Crucial muscles. And then with golf, you go like this. And then you hop in a little golf cart and you're just like. And then there's bowling where you sit, watch other people bowl, and then you bowl, and then you watch the ball hit a bunch of pins. So anyway, you take basketball. <laughs> you need like everything. Yeah. You need hand-eye coordination. Constantly you need running. endurance. You need strength to like shoot a three pointer, mm -hmm. to 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 dunk the way I do. You want to see all of my you dunks? You cannot dunk. <laughs> you can go to the Weeple Family YouTube channel. Sweet. Anyway, so like to 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 do those moves, you have to be strong, mm -hmm. and in order to not be exhausted, you have to be able to do it for like an hour, right? You don't Gotta get, have a lot of endurance. You don't get any endurance training from baseball or football. I'm basically upsetting everybody that likes any other sport. <laughs> I mean, soccer. But it's true. Oh, hey, soccer's cool. Yeah. But there's no hand-eye coordination yeah. because you just get penalized every time you use your hands. I mean, I like soccer well, because you don't need a bunch of... There's foot-eye coordination. But how often do you use your feet in other aspects of life? Like, I don't know, typing? You basically have to learn how to run really fast <laughs> while kicking a ball. I'm really, really dexterous with my feet. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I it's like, not a transferable skill. I like soccer because you don't need to have a hoop, so we don't need to walk Well, it does all give, the make you very... That's a good um, point. It does make you very, like for agility and then also you'll probably have very good soccer is great i actually very like good soccer. balance yeah so being able to run a lot is like good right yeah. but 
generally speaking, you're not, you're only working your lower body. That's true. Okay. So there again, you just soccer, like, you supporters, push up soccer, is, <laughs> soccer is not as good as basketball. Yeah. You need your legs. You need strength in your legs and this your arms. This could totally be a debate club topic. That's true. Well, I'm just talking about why we're doing it. Like I got really into basketball when I was a kid, but that was because Michael Jordan was so keen. <laughs> and, yeah. and I live and I lived in Illinois. And so like I was six years old when he won the first tournament. And so like every day I was just out there playing. I would play basketball like three hours a day, like not kidding. Like, and oftentimes it was three hours, like at a stretch. Right. Mm -hmm. So part of the reason, I think that some of that muscle fiber, muscle memory or something from when I was a kid, has just carried over because for about 10 years i didn't really exercise i was pretty buff i weighed about 165 pounds when i was in college when i first met your mom i was doing that tree business hired up my roommates we were like helping people grow tree stands and then after like a storm there'd be like an opportunity to make a ton of money just helping like move falling over trees out of people's yards and stuff mm -hmm. and the thing that i would do for this business was getting paid to exercise so great this is just so fabulous. Um, uh, I would, um, I didn't have any uh, equipment that required gasoline. So mm. it was all manual tools, right? So I had like a cross cut saw that I was like chopping up huge logs, like, you know, those giant cross cut, oh, yeah. you know, we would be doing that to get rid of, and people liked that because they didn't like all the noise. So right. they'd hire us, we would charge the same amount. It would take us a bit longer, but we were also college students. I was making like 50 bucks an hour back then. That's mm. like $70 an hour now. Um, really good business, right? So I had like, I was 165 pounds, so about 20 pounds more than now, but it was just lean muscle. I could just pick up your mom and like set her on my shoulders <laughs> and carry her around. Like it was cool, right? Yeah, but now um, you're a twink. <laughs> yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Like I got down to like 145. I think now I'm back to like maybe 150. So I've got some more muscle back. But for about 10 years, I didn't do squat. I was going to the gym. I, there's a picture of me on Facebook somewhere where I've got like a little uh, a hat, a little cooking hat, chef hat, and a no shirt on. I'm carrying a couple pizzas. I'm just totally ripped, you know, just like, ah, like that was. And then, and then as soon as I started working, I just got really good at long, like uh, uh, sitting in my my chair for hours on end working like this, you know. And then um, your fingers really got buff, super buff. buff. <laughs> 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 um, so I didn't do squat for a really long time. But then I'd say just just you didn't this, do you didn't even do I didn't squats. even I didn't even do squat. I didn't do squats for a very long time. I didn't do squat. So I didn't really exercise. <laughs> well, we did some of the, we did the 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 foam sword fighting thing and we would go on yeah. hikes but i didn't really do much exercise till the till the fire mm -hmm. till about three months ago and then we started doing a bunch of things and it's been a lot of fun yeah um i never really thought of myself as like someone who liked doing sports because i always thought sports were like boring um because when i thought of basketball i thought of shooting hoops and when i was younger i couldn't even get the ball up there mm -hmm. um and when I thought of soccer, I thought I have to learn how to do this with my feet a lot. No, that's not how you do it. You do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I wasn't really good at that. But then after I started doing basketball, I was like, oh, this is actually really fun. And I don't even know. I don't need to shoot the hoop from very far. You um, don't shoot the hoop. No, you shoot the ball. <laughs> That's why you hard. couldn't do it. You yeah. thought you were trying to shoot hoops. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah, shoot hoops. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's tough. The ball's big. So we've been doing, one of the things we've been doing is exercising. It's chucking with medicine, medicine balls. balls. <laughs> we had an eight pound medicine ball. Then and then within a week, back and back and forth. tossing that thing around. Like Isla only weighs 20 pounds. So like, <laughs> she's like sitting there like, uh, uh, no, I After doing like that, you, you are no longer afraid 50, of, of the basketball. Um, so you can incorporate things like that too. If you have a goal, a competitive goal, it's a really good way to engage um, kids. I would guess maybe boys too more. Actually, I would have said that until you two started competing on planks. Now <laughs> I still think... at two minutes and 40 seconds and I've only got two minutes and 22 seconds. You've just got to be good at everything. <laughs> 
everything, even video games. She builds a better <laughs> Minecraft house than Yeah, me. she's actually good at these games where you're like first person shooter games too. We played a first person shooter game one time with the team. And within an hour, she was just yeah, sniping just, everybody. I just found it very <laughs> monotonous, though. It's more like you, you know how to hide behind him than you know how to just go shoot. <laughs> just making the rest of us look bad. <sighs> I mean, the one that we played, though, go. it was always the same map. Yeah. Okay. Moving on past video games. Yeah. But you know what? Very one thing that would be really fun, I really want to do paintball guns. Oh, but doesn't that hurt? Yeah. Oh. But you guys do like ballet taekwondo. It's so beautiful. Okay, it hurts when you are sparring somebody who's like 50% larger than you. It hurts when you're sparring someone who doesn't have the enough flexibility to kick your belly oh, level and yeah. so they kick your legs. Yeah, but that can you imagine? Or can you they imagine keep, though? They keep doing back leg kicks and kicking your back even though you're not allowed I've to do always that. wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do this. I joined. That can stay in your dreams, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just imagine. Okay, so for me, the key to exercise is doing something that I'm moving, but I forget that I'm exercising. So going on long walks, talking to people about ideas on the phone, I'll like walk for two hours and forget that I was walking and I'll be like exhausted afterwards. I'll be walking really fast. The more excited I get about a conversation. <laughs> like, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, when we're walking oh. and then you start getting excited, I'm like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, one time I got so excited, I was sprinting. I literally ran a marathon. It was in Boston. I was just, I actually won the Boston Marathon yeah. talking on the phone. No, anyway. no, you never did that. Totally happened. Okay. You never yeah, did that. Totally. All right. So, so imagine this though. Imagine that you know you're like you wear lots of layers okay you're so it wouldn't hurt very much especially if you're wearing like tons of layers like you would you barely feel anything okay I'll wear my take really one only hurt gear. if you're oh yeah yeah sure okay so if we've got these paintball guns all right and we're you know in a field with like some trees you can hide behind and stuff and there's like a clear it's like capture the flag if you get shot it's obvious like you've got paint on you so you got to go back right but imagine if we were doing this. Would you be thinking about how you're exercising? No. No. No, but that would be so fun. It would be fun. It would be so. Where much are we gonna fun. find we a giant, giant open field? Can we get paint pom poms? Oh yeah, that's paint a, pom poms. Instead of the actual it's a like pom -pom hard with ball paint. that has paint on it. No, it's a we would have guns. We would because shoot each other. It's a pom pom, pom dipped in paint. No, it paint. would still be a gun. You would just be shooting pom pom. Paint. Yeah, and then it wouldn't hurt, and I wouldn't have to go around looking like a sumo wrestler. This is the first moment in my life that I wondered whether or not I wanted a son. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Not a pom-pom. <laughs> not a pom-pom. Oh, Come Dad. <laughs> you got not a son now. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine that you're in this field, and you, like, you have a goal. Are yeah, I really like that, but I just don't want to. You, you okay I, so the first i remember the first time you started playing nerf guns we had our nerf gun battle oh yeah you reacted the exact same way the first <laughs> 10 minutes you're like i don't want to shoot mommy and then you were like god mommy in the butt god mommy in the butt god mommy in the like you know so i think it's, it's basically seriously remember that she was like five yeah it's like five years yeah you anyway. need the goggles though yeah, it, you, if it it's hits a total eye, face. Then... It's a total face thing. I I wore a ballerina outfit with a tutu and a black mask with blue goggles. It was, sweet. and I was the ballerina of death. Okay, <laughs> I'd say the short answer here is that we've got lots of ideas for exercise. Yeah. So as long as you're not into football, soccer, baseball. <laughs> Or really any other sport besides basketball. And <laughs> soccer is fine. Um, oh, what, ballet was cool. When you guys were really little, you did ballet. All I learned was first position, second position, third position. The problem with ballet, I feel like, is that initially when you're working on the foundations, you're not necessarily like doing, doing a lot of exercise other than like. Okay. That's not exercise. <laughs> Here, here's the main problem with PE is that everybody was expected to like and do the same thing. 
yeah. just like in the rest of public school. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The parachute was pretty fun. We all I'm not did saying the that parachute there like this, that was fun, yeah. and then we sat under it inside the giant parachute bubble. Everybody likes the parachute. <laughs> if they had just done the parachute, we, <laughs> and then the balls. popcorn, <laughs> yeah. like we oh, put yeah. the balls oh, in there, yeah. you're like, <laughs> And then, like, sometimes you throw in the smallest kid, right? Like, look, look, look at Timmy. I remember at Timmy. when it, it was someone's birthday. They I think they put stopped it in doing the that middle. by the time you guys were <laughs> They no, would only they, do that back then. No, no, no. But when it was someone's birthday, they the put the person kid. in the middle. No, but we would just go around in a circle. Oh, and they would like wrap around them. them. No, yeah. I'm talking about actually tossing. And then you would, and then you would, and then everyone would pull it back, and they would spin because you would. Everyone would walk around the person with the parachute. They would wrap around them, and then you pull it back. They used to do go, all kinds of fun stuff. Like I remember back when I was a kid, they had teeter totters, aka launch machines. Right? <laughs> yeah, like one kid in a tree, you know, and you got little. T it was always Timmy. Timmy. You know, Timmy's over here, and he's just sitting there. And the, and the key was, like, Timmy didn't like being launched, right? <laughs> but he's the smallest kid. He goes up the highest. It's the most fun for everyone. It's the utility maximizing for the group solution. So somebody would trick him into sitting there and be like, hey, Timmy, no, we're just, we're not going to launch you again. No, we're just doing teeter-totter. Just sit here. I'll go find somebody else to do it and be like, yeah, okay. He sits down, and then Jimmy jumps out of the tree. <laughs> and he's like, not again. And then Billy would catch. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy, Jimmy, and Billy. There was, I mostly film. Um, so uh, what were the other things that they would have? Like, then they have the other thing, too, that would go around in circles. Oh, yeah. What was that called? I don't know, but the key Merry was like. Merry-go-round. No, it was Everyone like. Everyone just called it a spinny thing. The spinning Nobody thing. Nobody knew what the name was. Oh, so I know here's the thing. About. So the they spinny thing. Jerry so you, yeah. put, you put Timmy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd have like eight other kids all on the outside, and they would just be like, foo, 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 foo. and at first Timmy's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. and then at some point his center of gravity starts to go a little bit to the outside, and then pretty soon his legs are just like, whoa, 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 because he's holding on for dear life, and then he would shoot off, and then Jimmy would catch him. Okay. Jimmy was there, you know, oh, always Billy. ready to go. Jimmy was the one who climbed yeah. out of the tree. Sometimes Billy we would caught. steal no, the, uh, would the parachute so we'd catch him, you know, <laughs> and that. So that was fun. And then also, like, the monkey bars were usually, like, way higher back then. Like, now right. the monkey bars are usually about this high. So you actually yeah. have to lift up your feet in order to not touch the ground because parents are so worried about kids getting hurt. And then if it's, like, only two feet off the ground. At Haycock, they have some pretty high. Yeah, maybe they're like three feet high. But back when I was a kid, whoa, they had ones. It was like the second floor. I mean, you were a good like 15, 16 feet up in the air. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, and we had kids that were going over the top of it. <laughs> like, look at me. No, <laughs> no. You know, they'd be like they'd be like poking at the fingers of people that were actually trying to <laughs> monkey bar. I'd be like, ha, 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 ha. You know? <laughs> So, so you weren't thinking about <laughs> exercise, you know, we made point very you were having so much fun. I remember one, I broke my arm a lot when I was a kid because <laughs> of these things, like, you know, it was really, anyway, I broke my arm in first grade and, um, I was, uh, the, the thing that, that I would do on the, <laughs> Almost every day, there was this girl, Emily. She was so sweet, and she was the nicest girl in the class. And so the teacher would be like, can you please push Joe? He can't really do anything else except swing because he broke his arm. And and I was like, this is so great because I, I I had a kind of thing for Emily. I know I was six, but she was so nice. <laughs> she, was just, just, she was just so nice. So she would be pushing me, you know, and it was so great. And then after like a few months, I tried to impress her by showing her I could jump out of the <laughs> swing <laughs> with my broken arm you know this is the kind of thing that a six-year-old does to try to impress a girl and it doesn't work by the way all you six-year-old boys out there don't do this they actually just want you to try to act like a nice responsible person like that's the key but that's not what i thought when i was six so like emily's point, i'm just like all right emily go ahead and push a little harder and she's like joe are you gonna jump out again I'm like no no 
I wouldn't do that. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. And then <laughs> and she'd get me up like real high. You know? I'm like, I'm like parallel to the ground. You know, she was tough. You know, she was probably did Taekwondo or ballet. And anyway, so right there at the top, I would whoop. And then I would jump out and be like, wee. And then I'd roll and be like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't hurt myself. Even if I had my cast stuff. So cute. Anyway. <sighs> So great. There's so many ways to engage kids with playing. You know? <laughs> Just don't do any of those things. Just don't do any of the things that we talked about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just listen to your parents. <laughs> anyway, what are the key takeaways? The actual serious key takeaways. You need to jump off a swing no. to impress a girl. No. Uh, uh. No. <laughs> what are the first principles of exercise for parents? That it's fun. That you're... Fun engaging in like a lot of different muscles in your body it's not just like one specific thing mm -hmm. um then it's also not like just a, legs like soccer yeah it's like a social um it's a social activity to keep you accountable make it social accountable and just way more fun yeah right um, even taekwondo is more fun because there's more people yeah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. okay um also i would say like the whole parent kid engagement and similar activities mm -hmm. That's great. That's like, that's how you solve the whole parent kid. Oh, I don't have time, you know, because I'm, yeah. So right. there's a lot there. Mm. Try new things. Don't feel like you have to be in a routine. Yeah. Switch it up. Um, and if you want help with ideas or accountability, join our exercise club. And we would love to support and, and play a game you. of paid pom poms. Yeah. Use pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.